So winter tires aren't just for snow. You know, we go over this every year, but I don't think this message gets out to everyone. Seven degrees is a key number when talking about winter tires. Why is that? Well, the, ru the rubber in the winter tires is made to be, you know, basically it's much softer than your all season, right? So, and the tire will have uh, small sipes in it, your ice tires. And they work like little canoe paddles when you're on top of the ice to uh, get so that you have traction with that thin layer of water and then the ice. So uh, it's, you know, it's very important you put them on, you know, once it's colder than seven degrees because it doesn't damage that soft rubber as so that it works the best for many seasons. Right. So because they will overheat if you run them on a hot day. Kirk, that's the most Canadian explanation I've ever heard, considering we're talking about snow tires and you yeah. use little canoes in your description yeah, that's right, right there. That's right. <laughs> uh, all right. So I actually had to buy new winter tires this year for my vehicle. Uh, I found that there is a wide range of prices. There's a lot of rebates out there. There's so much variety that I wasn't sure what to get. I hope I made the right decision. But for people who are in the same spot, what do you recommend looking for? Well, you, you obviously want to buy a good quality tire. That's the most confusing thing for folks. It's black, it's round. Why is this one cheaper than the other one, right? Uh, the price of a tire depends on the amount of steel in the construction of the tire and also the technology in the tire. So if you have the latest technology, the, be the best wet weather traction, uh, you know, the best handling, uh, durability uh, due to the, the composition of the tire, you're going to pay more for the tire. So if you do buy a tire that's much cheaper than the rest, most likely it'll go out of round sooner. It'll go out of balance sooner. It'll start coming apart. And, you know, the lifetime can be literally cut in half. So it, it, I always say go with the better brands. You know, I like I like uh, Michelin X Ice is an excellent uh, winter tire. We sell a lot of those. Prelly Soda Zero. Um, you know, Blizzak's a very good tire from Bridgestone. Uh, but I, I always say go with the name brands. And then... You know, like you said, as you're buying the, the tires for your vehicle, you want to make sure you have the right load rating too, right? So you don't want to buy a tire that has an improper load rating for your vehicle. So so that's very important that that uh, get looked at. Otherwise, if you're, you know, if you have too soft of a tire for a heavy car, you're going to have some serious handling issues as well, right? Hmm. All right. Well, these are definitely things I guess people can actually go in and ask about as opposed to just randomly kick, clicking boxes online, which can be the trouble if you don't know. And a lot of this, I mean, this is your world. But for someone like myself, it's kind of like I don't really know the difference. So there you go. Also, they can, of course, call auto experts and ask well, these exactly. questions to you. Perfect. Uh, before we go, though, Kirk, I also wanted to touch on this. You know, there are other things to check in your vehicle as we do head into full on winter. What's your checklist? Well, I mean, first of all, you know, one thing I want to back up on is when you're having your tires installed, the tech is going to check your brakes and your suspension. So be patient. All right. This is the time some of you haven't been in for six months. Be patient. Your car needs to be properly checked over to make sure it's safe. And then, of course, you know, if it's all good, you're good to go. Um, items you want to have in your car is the obvious. We're all Canadian. We should know this by now, right? But, uh, you know, washer fluid topped up, have some spare washer fluid. Uh, you, you know, your ice scrapers, your blankets, uh, a good set of booster cables or one of those small booster packs is a great idea. Um, also, I hate to say this, you know, to but have have a phone number for who you should call if you have a collision. Have that all set up and, you know, and inform your kids because, you know, obviously this is the time people run into, you know, issues on the road and you need to have a plan. And often I see folks get picked up after a collision or sliding off the road and they don't know who to call. A tow truck driver shows up. Next thing, their car is at the body shop. They don't want it to be at, um, you know, and then it just keeps going from there, right? So put a plan in place. Have the phone numbers ready. You know, if I have an issue, who am I going to call? CAA is a great idea to have that as well. And, uh, you know, just have a plan in place for your family if, if the worst does happen where you have a, a collision this winter.